Hey guys, Brendan from TAT here. Um, I've got a transit van here, a common rail diesel. Um, so we've been getting a lot of people asking about common rail diesel um, repair. So this one has um, some surging. It'll occasionally go into limp home mode on him and um, he's after a fix. So I've got some fault codes out of it first. It's written down here. So P1211 and P0251. The top description is from my snap-on scan tool and the um, second description on each is from my G-scan. So you can see that it gives you two different descriptions really depending on what scan tool you've got but both in a similar area. And it definitely does feel like a fuel issue. So while I'm driving along, um, if you give it more load, it definitely starts to stutter and um, eventually it'll put it in limp home mode. So first thing I did was put some clear hose on the supply. So I want to check if it's got good low side fuel and I'll get you a shot of what it looks like. So not ideal here, we've got um, a lot of air in the system so that definitely could be causing these high pressure fuel codes. So what I do next is I want to know if um, it's worth you know, going back to the tank. It could be quite a lot of work getting under this vehicle. I want to make sure that if it had good low side supply that we're in the right direction and the car would work. So what I do is I use a little um, contraption that I picked up from Clinton Brett from Diesel Help Australia. Um, it's just another fuel tank essentially. So it's a little jerry can, you can make one yourself, but basically we fill this with clean diesel and we're gonna have an outlet. So think of this as your fuel tank. It's an outlet up to the fuel filter. And then I've also got the return coming back from the engine because it will quite quickly um, circulate a lot of fuel through the system and end up with all of this in the tank, even though the engine's only using a little bit. So I'll get a shot of it with it running um, on this fuel supply. So much, much better. So basically no air in the system now. And if I rev the car, it can, it can rev fine. I'm sure if I was to take it for a test drive, it would probably have no symptoms at all. So I know I'm in the right direction. We need to head back towards the tank because we've got a restriction. Someone revving it, but yeah, no air in the system. Going fishing in the fuel tank. And there's the problem there. Extra filtration, maybe. <laughs> okay, so there we have it, guys. So even though it's coming up with a lot of high pressure type fault codes, it's always important to start with basic things. And a lot of the time it is gonna be the low pressure side. Um, similar thing you would have seen in the clear hose if we had a blocked fuel filter or something. But working back, working back, we decided it had to be in the tank. Um, so tank is on the floor here. Not too bad on this one. Um, you know, it's never nice having to drop it out, but at least we had the, the diagnostics there to be able to say it was worth taking it out. And lo and behold, we've got a rag in there. So I'd say there must have been algae in there at some point. Someone's cleaned it same old story they leave one in there okay guys so if you want some more direction on diesel um, common rail diesel training um, definitely get on to Clinton Brett from Diesel Help Australia so he runs training courses all around Australia and um, you saw me use some of his kit in this um, even very low-tech stuff like clear hose it can help you solve most common rail problems it doesn't have to be as, as sort of scary as some of the high-tech stuff that's going on so pretty common thing on this one someone leaves something in the tank you know we've seen it a couple of times and if you want some more help in these kind of things, always get on to TAT Assist so we can help you with your common rail diesel problems on there, www.tat.net.au. And um, I'd love to see in the comments what, what kind of stuff have you seen left in tanks that's caused this kind of carnage and definitely I'm sure there'd be some money spent trying to chase faults until you find silly little things that um, end up causing big problems. Thanks.